Hyundai is one of the car world's more brazenly ambitious manufacturers, and it certainly wants everyone to know that its new Ionic is a big deal. The latest addition to the Korean brand's range is the world's first model to be available with hybrid, plug-in hybrid and pure EV drive trains. Key to this and the hybrid, claims Hyundai, is the use of a dual-clutch gearbox, as opposed to the continuously variable transmission and key rival the Toyota Prius, paired with the 104bhp 1.6-liter petrol engine and 43bhp electric motor. To our eyes at least, the Iona clearly has the edge in terms of styling over the Toyota, with its array of polarizing, ungainly angles. Hyundai's familiar hexagonal grille features at the front, while a swoopy, this theme continues inside, where the Ionic is conventionally styled and as solidly built as we have come to expect of recent Hyundais. However, there are some hard plastics in less obvious touch points, which help to create a slightly cheap feel. There's no compromise on gadgets, though, with the 7-inch TFT screen information cluster and an 8-inch touch screen available with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. So far so good, then, but how does it fare on the road? Press the blue rimmed start button and it glides off in electric mode in near silence, although you are always aware of a slight hum from the electric motor. Up the pace and there's no disguising the switch to petrol power, but the good news is the dual clutch box delivers gear shifts acceptably smoothly. Is it fun? In eco mode that's overselling it, but move the DCT over to sport and there is a tangible difference. Later gear shifts and the use of more engine power make the car feel genuinely quite engaging, considering it's a hybrid. And the orangey glow that lights up the rev counter reflects the fact the driving experience has taken a turn for the better. Of course, for many people the key to this model will be its figures, and at this early stage, we can only go on the Korean stats for comparison. In terms of price, the Ionic stretches from £13,260 to £16,144 in its home market, the Prius MK3 in contrast ranges from £18,075 to £23,640. Clearly Britain will be more expensive, but Hyundai will undercut the MK4 Toyota Prius. Fuel economy on the Korean cycle equates to 63.3 miles per gallon, the Prius MK3 is 59.3 miles per gallon. And in terms of CO2 emissions, the Ionic is targeting 81 grams km, versus the Prius's 89 grams km, the UK Prius MK4 is 76 grams km. So there's not much in it, then. That being the case, we expect the Ionic's coherent styling and decent drive to woo a fair swathe of buyers who previously might automatically have plumbed for the Prius. Verdict It's too early to make a definitive judgment on the Ionic, but what is clear from our early drive in the South Korean spec model is the Toyota Prius will no longer have it all its own way in the hybrid market. The Ionic arguably looks better drives acceptably well and will almost certainly be cheaper to buy. That will undoubtedly be enough for many to take the plunge.